Shipping container content is very popular on YouTube, and one of our favorite series is from Wild We Roam. And because of the internet, we were actually able to meet them and get a tour of their home. We're Levi and Leah, a Canadian couple living out of our Toyota Prius to complete a road trip of a lifetime. We left our apartment in the city to spend the next year circumnavigating North America. Last week, we sadly started our slow journey north back to Canada. And this week, we got to try our hand at some house renovations and we got to meet some new friends. <laughs> oh, there it is! There's a container house. Wow. That's so cool. It's amazing. They said there was a chance that, you know, a couple of weeks ago the car wouldn't have made it, but, you know, the Prius has been through a lot. She has. You know, oh, this is pretty gnarly, though. <laughs> I'm so curious to see this in person. It's going to be wild. <laughs> All right, so we just had a very successful sleep in the Prius. Uh, we've had a lovely breakfast in the wall tent, and uh, now we are going to get an official tour of the container homes. Max will be leaving it, of course. Yes, our host. Good morning, you two. Hello. I don't know about you, but we had a great sleep. Oh, did you like it up here? Yeah, it was perfect. Hey, you. are you going to give us a tour of yes. the containers? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we would absolutely love to. <laughs> Shipping container tour. Coming Let's right do up. it. So can you tell us uh, the plan for these three containers? All right, so we got our office container. <laughs> we've got our kitchen container. <laughs> and we've got our bedroom container. Currently, only the bedroom is like 90% done kitchen, which we are going to be working on today, is like 60% done. Wow. And the office is 0%. <laughs> so right. it's like, it's a rough tour of a house because most of the house isn't done, but it's very exciting and we have a lot of plans for the space. Um, I feel like the main question that comes up with these containers is like, why didn't you put them all together? Why mm. Like, why didn't you connect them? Yeah, that's Everybody true. wants to know why didn't you connect the containers? And the main thing for us is that first, we weren't planning to live in these containers. That was like the number one thing. So like that evolved and we'd this already- This was supposed to be my amazing workshop. Yeah. So it was like, yeah. that would be woodworking. This would be metal work. That would be like storage. Wow. And then this was going to be outdoor work areas. And as a workshop, it's perfect. Because we thought we could put roofing over the top and then you could like right. park the tractor underneath it. It would be like mm, making yeah, yeah. easy garage spaces. Right. But then we were like, hmm. Should we prioritize like a work shed or should we prioritize like a space that we could actually live up here? Right. So we flopped the plan, but then we didn't have, like if you pour a cement slab so they're all level, then you need like a lot more, you have to follow a lot more rules. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just doing it this way. It's a temporary housing situation for us, but you wanna go in your swing? You can go in your swing. <laughs> I think you also have to realize just like where these containers are situated. Like this is such an incredible chunk of land. They really do just sit nicely here at the edge of this beautiful meadow. So you can really see the vision. You can you can imagine what this is going to be like when it all comes together. All right, we're just going to leave you there, mister, and then we're going to get into the tour. What do you think? <laughs> That little eyebrow really. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know about that. Mm. We've never done that before. Yeah, he's like, mm. he's he's like, like I know what that is. Yeah. And this is definitely what you wanted as a part of the tour, right? Was, was this, this? is really what off grid construction is all about. <laughs> Piles of material slowly wasting away because I don't have a barn to build them in. <laughs> so this area over here is built out of a dog pen. Wow. Because it's designed so we can leave Freya in between the two containers. That makes sense. That's smart. Uh, and it's actually really nice to have outdoor space for building. We realize that's like a key yeah, feature definitely. for yeah. off-grid construction is like areas you can work where you can work in the rain because it rains a lot. Obviously, yeah. if you had like a big enclosed barn, that's <laughs> ideal. <laughs> but when you have, when you're like starting from scratch, like if you can quickly get a roof, like a carport kind of vibe. You want to go in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. So it's not quite a kitchen yet, but the plan is for there to be potentially like a small little bathroom here. 
nice. So just a composting toilet. We won't have running water. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey, Freya! <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people don't think about what the interior of a shipping container is going to be like, but it's quite roomy. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. not nearly when as you small as you think it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put all this space. I can Touché. stand that <laughs> Wow, that was, a, that was a ruthless burn. That was really... <laughs> <laughs> that really is true. Now we are heading into the most completed. The most completed of all the rooms. Nice and toasty. The Isn't bedroom. it nice? This is such a nice little space. It's, it's not that little, but it is just cozy. It's really transformed, especially in the last like two months. Because that's the thing that's interesting with shipping containers is that they like literally don't breathe because mm. of the steel box. So Lou had to do a lot of work to make sure that the ventilation was all set up correctly. So there's like air intake and outtake fans. The, the gate is obviously for some <laughs> individuals here. Yeah, keeps Papa nice and flexible. <laughs> and it's cool because it's removable. So in the summer, once it's finally warm enough, we can remove it. And I've already removed it a couple times and then it keeps getting cold. Yeah. Have to put it back. <laughs> but it's... Oh, uh, ticks! I, yeah. Let's let's show them what ticks look like. Oh that's my! That's off of Freya, so like look that's probably been on the dog, that. and it's engorged. It's really gross. Wow, <laughs> wow. we have it's a fun. little bit of tick experience yeah, now. Really so, do. Yeah. oh, is it nap time, buddy? Yeah. 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 Are you gonna say goodbye to everybody and go for a little nap? <laughs> He's like, everybody, get out of my bedroom. I want to sleep. <laughs> He's like, whoa, put the camera. Oh, Max, we just installed oh, these yeah. new black. Yeah. So Look at nice that. Oh. Just for you. So one of the reasons why we really wanted to come out and visit Dana and Lou, uh, other than the fact that they're lovely people, is that this is one of the many dreams that we sort of have for ourselves. Uh, maybe we aren't as skilled as they are, <laughs> but the idea of building shipping container homes out on a remote piece of property is amazing. Especially with how tranquil it is out here, right? You're like drinking your like morning tea overlooking this beautiful view with a little fire. Like it's so romantic and reminds me so much of your parents' place Yeah. that we already know that's a place that we love. So I'm interested to see, I don't know, what those next steps are gonna look like, but also what an insight into what does it look like to build this and have a kid? Getting to hang out with these guys last night, we sort of realized how much we have in common and how, um, our life could look if we made certain choices. So it's mm -hmm. been really insightful. And uh, I think if you don't already follow Wild We Roam on YouTube, uh, you will really enjoy it. So it'll be linked down in the description. Now I think we got some uh, stuff to do. All right, so this is the insulation that we are going to be installing today. Yeah, so this is called Hempel insulation. And for us, it's super nostalgic because we built our van out of this. So the oh. smell just like, brings back all the memories. I kind of describe it as like clean barn, but it's really nice because it's all natural, naturally mold resistant, fire resistant, and it's kind of like the best of both worlds. We have spray foam, not natural, <laughs> and then natural insulation, which is just really nice to work with because right. you can just work with it with your hands. You can wear a mask if you want to, but it's not like dangerous in any way, which Beautiful. is just like nice because so few construction materials I feel like are that way these yeah. days. Yeah. So today we're going to be filling in hopefully the whole container <laughs> and all you really need is a knife and okay. you just cut it apart and stick it in. Got the, got the masking. So having done no construction experience whatsoever, I would say that this is one of the most satisfying jobs ever. I mean, you just have these moments where you stick the piece of foam in exactly the right spot. You find the exact right piece. I think Lou has spoiled us because like, obviously it's a ton of work doing this. He's like, what's gonna be a fun and satisfying task for a couple of noobs to do?
<laughs> well, it's like the part of town, but you're like the one in the lobby. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Do you want some kombucha? I'll have a sip. Okay, so Leah just got up from her nap. Uh, Lou and I managed to get most of the ceiling panels done on the inside of the shipping container. It was way more work. It was physically a lot more difficult. Um, <laughs> but hopefully it pays off and Leah gives us a good reaction. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Whoa! <laughs> She's like, oh, I, I, how do I react now? Yeah, it was not easy. Yeah, we got a lot of insulation in our eyes, just like oh, working with it upside oh, down. I can imagine doing that when then one of us holding it and the other one's what with the nail gun. Uh -huh. and... Yeah, it was yeah. it was not great. Oh my gosh. So we're taking a little snack break over here at the wall tent. And being on this property has, I don't know, just got me thinking about how nice it would be to live rurally to have this kind of land and especially for our kid like seeing max how happy he is here and knowing that like this is where he's gonna grow up this is gonna be this amazing space that he gets to explore and make his own with his parents i don't know it's uh it really seems very like idyllic and romantic to be able to do that and it has us thinking like we're so excited to come home but i wonder what that's gonna look like over the next few years also look how cute this is the outhouse. So you open it up in here, a little composting toilet. But the best is this bathtub. And can you just imagine like sitting in there, looking out over the view, like the sun sets like right over there. It's just been so nice to, you know, actually get our hands dirty and try out one of the many, many, many jobs that go into making a property like this possible. And makes it feel more real like maybe we'll actually do this whether it's in a shipping container whether it's a trailer or if we're you know buying an old house and restoring it, it just has us thinking about that next chapter and being around max oh my gosh like already my ovaries would have been on overdrive but like being pregnant and knowing that like this is gonna be our life in you know just just a few months really it's gonna go by so fast and then we're gonna have a, like a little family so also this is my first time wearing the overalls and they actually feel like tight across here i don't know if you can really tell but there's like some little bump they may only be the size of an apple but finally starting to feel the bump and it's just making it all feel more real so after very graciously showing us around the container homes, we're gonna show them our home. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> train <laughs> tours, right. you know? It's a much shorter tour. <laughs> so of course, uh, if you wanna see their side of this whole adventure, uh, there's gonna be a video live on their page because you probably know what our Prius looks like at this point. Um, <laughs> so yeah, wish us luck. <laughs> Gonna come in, well, and then I'm gonna roll on top of you. Yeah, yeah, okay, oh, sure. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Let's do that. Or if you lie on your side, though. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, look at that. You see, we could all live in a Prius together. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of we could split the gas money. Right. Oh my gosh. Well, We'd be making money if you're so efficient. Well guys, this is probably the end of our video at this point. I mean, how can we top this? Max is doing the sign up. It's so low. Like we do this all the time. That's your camera. Oh, he broke it. We, Sorry. We, 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 what? Oh my god, we just talked about how great is the masterpiece that came out of the last five minutes. That is that's that's going on the mantelpiece. I mean, that's... It should be a oh Christmas God, card. <laughs> Welcome to our modern family. <laughs> right, I'm pregnant this baby. You're like, yeah. what's happening? I don't understand. Wow. And all that we had to sacrifice was our hammock. <laughs> well worth it. Well worth it for, for a family moment. 
It's probably going to be stronger than it was before, honestly. <laughs> Look at that. Lou's not just a woodworker, you guys. He does it all. Well, that was a hell of a way to spend our last day in America. Uh, so wholesome. We were having this whole chat of like, we're in the wholesome period of our lives right now and <laughs> hanging out with Dana and Lou and Max and seeing that like it's such a big project they have on their hands, but knowing that we could help even in like this like easy, easy little way. This has been such an insightful and interesting experience for us, and it's such a great way to cap off our America adventure because tomorrow, in the next week's video, you will see our final journey back to Canada. So if you are subscribed, make sure that you are around because that will be coming out next Saturday. Oh, Canada. That seems so wild. Bye, everybody. Have a good night or day. Um wherever you are whatever <laughs> what time of day i just am ready for bed. good good night good night y'all <laughs>